let's take a look at purchases. We'll start on purchase orders. Before you can create a purchase order, ensure that your suppliers and products have been created. To add a purchase, your first step is to add a supplier. Start typing the supplier code or name or use the advanced search to find the supplier. Let's add in MetaFoods. Then you can add a supplier reference, discount and an invoice date, which specifies the date shown in your accounting software, if you choose to. You can then specify the tax rate, if not set at the product level, and the warehouse that the goods would be shipped to. And depending on the warehouse selected, and provided that you have entered all the details for this warehouse, the delivery address details will automatically populate on the right hand side. So let's do that for my Christchurch warehouse. On the far right hand side of the page is the order date and delivery date. If the delivery date is not met, it will show up as a late purchase. We then have templates which you can select and customise for your PDF documentation. You'll also see the currency code displayed here. Next, you can enter your products. Start by typing in the name or code of the product. I'm going to order a box of beer. You would then enter the quantity you will be purchasing. The price will then populate for you. This price is the default purchase price on the product record. If a specific price has been set for supplier, then that price will be used. You are, however, able to manually change the price here. You can then add in comments related to this order line, then click Add. Let's add a second product following those same steps. The next section of the purchase order is where you can add in any costs related to this purchase, for example, for freight. For this example, however, we will assume that there are no costs, so we can skip past this section for now. On the bottom right hand side of the page, you will see some information including total weight, currency code and subtotals. You can also see the payment terms to check when we need to pay our supplier by. Below the section are buttons to print the costing if relevant and also to print the labels, the purchase order and email it off. If you click on email, a form will pop up which is pre-populated with the supplier's email address, ready to be sent. At the top left corner of the page, you will see our purchase order prefix, which is the PO, and our purchase order number, and the status, which is currently parked. This is a draft status, and once we're happy, we can go ahead and place the order, which means that this is now confirmed. This will change the status to placed, and if print settings are turned on and company settings, produce the PDF documentation. If automated notifications are turned on, Unleashed will also send an email to your supplier.